Today I'm going to cook marinated lamb wraps, using these beautiful New Zealand lean lamb rumps. New Zealand lamb is some of the best in the world, bred and raised free range with a subtle sweetness. This lamb I'm going to pan roast, sear in a hot pan, then finish in the oven. I'm going to marinate the lamb with garlic puree, that I finely grated, on a microplane, this is two cloves of fresh garlic. Also, I'll be using one tablespoon of this fantastic, lavender scented Himalayan pink salt that I got for my holiday to Wanaka, in the South Island of New Zealand, this is the first time I've used it. The lavender pink salt has an amazing smell, and I'm excited to be using it, with this beautiful, lamb rum. Next, one tablespoon of dried oregano, and one dried crushed bay leaf which I crushed in a mortar and pestle. Lastly, a drizzle of rice bran oil, or you can use vegetable oil. Now, I'm going to combine the marinade ingredients together, then spread it, all over the lamb. I mix the marinade together, making sure, all the ingredients are evenly incorporated. I spoon the marinade onto the lamp, and evenly coat the rumps, making sure to get into all the slits. I like to put plastic wrap down onto the bench, this helps to keep my work surface clean. When I finish rubbing the lamp, I wrap the rumps in the plastic wrap, and let them sit at room temperature for 20 to 30 minutes. This helps the marinade do its work, and brings the lamb up to temperature before roasting, so they are not fridge cold, when they go into the oven. Now to make the tzatziki, first two cloves of garlic puree, a quarter of a telegraph cucumber, and half a cup of plain unsweetened yogurt. Lastly I'll season the tzatziki with sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. First off, I'll grate the cucumber on a steel box grater, I always like to lay the box grater on its side, it is way easier to use. After grating the cucumber, I need to squeeze out any excess water, before placing it into the yogurt, this will stop the tzatziki from becoming watery. the grated cucumber to the plain yogurt. Next, add the fresh garlic puree. Lastly, add the salt and freshly ground black pepper. If you can't get lavender scented Himalayan pink salt, don't worry, you can use plain Himalayan pink salt or quality sea salt. Mix all the ingredients together, making sure they are evenly incorporated, then cover with plastic wrap and place into the fridge. Next, the tomato and red onion, I'm using acid-free tomato, which I'm going to dice. The red onion I'm going to thinly slice. I'm using a small serrated knife. This knife is excellent for cutting tomatoes. They are also great for people who have limited knife skills. As they are small and easy to control, just watch how I use this knife and you can follow along. Now for the red onion. I find this serrated knife will help you to cut thin slices of red onion, without too much effort. Again, watch me, and you can follow along, this is so easy to do. You'll be cutting paper thin slices of red onion using this knife. Now, I've put the tomato and red onion into a bowl. I'm going to season it, with about 1 teaspoon of some quality sea salt. 
and a generous amount of freshly ground black pepper. Now, I'm going to add about 1 tablespoon of this wonderful extra virgin olive oil from Village Press. This is an excellent olive oil, as it has a subtle grassy flavor, that isn't too peppery. Mix the tomato and red onion together, cover with plastic wrap, and leave sitting at room temperature. This can be done 15 or 20 minutes before you need to use it. I'm also using, these beautiful baby romaine leaves. Now let's pan roast the lamb. I've preheated the oven to 175 degrees Celsius or 347 degrees Fahrenheit. I've heated my pan to medium heat, and added a drizzle of rice bran oil. The pan I'm using is my non-stick circulon pan, that is oven safe, this is a fantastic pan for roasting meat in. Now I'm going to turn the lamb and slide it into the hot oven for about 30 minutes. Each lamb rump weighs approximately 550 grams or 19.4 ounces. I work on 15 minutes per 500 grams or pound, plus 15 more minutes, plus 8 to 10 minutes for resting time. This should give you a nice medium lamb rump if you follow these guidelines. I'm going to add these fresh chilies that are from my garden, they are a mild chili, and add a little heat without dominating the dish. The lamb is done, beautifully caramelized. I can smell that aromatic marinade. It is making me hungry. Just by touching the lamb I can see it is medium. Now I will rest it for 8 minutes. Now it is time to slice the lamb, the moment of truth. You need to make sure, you have a sharp knife for this. I'm using my Japanese Damascus knife, it is razor sharp, and lightweight, perfect for slicing boneless cooked meats. Now, let's slice the lamb, I'm slicing it against the grain, this is an important step if you want tender lamb. As you can see, the knife cuts through the lamb like butter. The lamb is juicy and cooked to how the family likes it. The lamb looks and smells fantastic, now I'm really hungry. Next, I will cut the lamb into bite-sized pieces, so it is easy to eat in the wrap. Now it is time to construct your lamb wrap. Firstly I've got some hummus, which I'm going to spread onto the bottom of this Lebanese flatbread. I heated the Lebanese flatbread in the oven, this makes it soft and delicious. Next, I'm adding the romaine leaves, tomato, and red onion, followed by the fresh chilies from my garden. Next I'm going to add the hero of the dish, the pan-roasted marinated lamb. Then I'm going to add a little more of the aromatic lavender Himalayan pink salt. 
and freshly ground black pepper. Lastly, I'm going to add the tzatziki, this complements the lamb and completes the dish, so be generous. There, now I've shown you, how to make this easy next level lamb wrap. It's time to eat. You need to make my dad's recipes because they taste fantastic. And don't forget to like and subscribe.